The original Candyman, um, uh, directed, written directed by Bernard Rose, uh, based on a story by Clive Barker, um, was is one of m m uh, my favorites. It's a very in influential movie for me, um, mainly because uh, I believe it came out in 1992, uh, so I would have been like 13. And uh, this was, I was a horror fan, and we didn't have a black Freddy. We didn't have a black Jason. We loved, Fre we identified with Freddy and Jason. But when Candyman came al along, it felt very, um, it felt very daring. Um, and it felt very uh, cathartic. Um, and it was terrifying. Um, so th this was w one of the movies that told me we, we can, um, that, that black people can <laughs> be in horror. Um, even though there, there, there are, uh, you know, many examples of black people in horror movies. This was, this was one for me that felt particularly badass. The original film, Helen is a bit, bit of the, you know, played expertly by Virginia Madsen, by the way. Um, Helen Lyle is a bit of a fish out of water, <laughs> to say the least, in the Cabrini Green area. And a lot, a lot is focused on her fear, and 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 therefore our the audience's fear of this space, of this black space. Um, well, that's that 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 um, Cabrini Green has been torn down, and it's and it's fairly gentrified now. And the story that felt resonated to me to me uh, now is the the story of. of my fear of the white space and, and 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 to be able to explore the quote unquote mirror image or the flip of the first one um, to me was a point that made uh, the project worthy in itself to see the the full uh, realization of that the conversation that this movie is. Candyman is an eternal figure, and uh, what what we did with this this version of it and this telling of it was we we focused on the connection. We 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 tried to bring out the connection with the the fact that this this is an, is an epidemic of violence on black bodies in this country, and you know Candyman. Um, can't can't uh, be can't just be singular. He, he's a concept. He's a story. He's a boogeyman, and that means he applies across the boundaries of time. Um, he's eternal. In the beginning of the film, you know, Anthony is and he's an artist who's maybe had a little bit of success, but. That success is in danger of fading, and um, you know, much like the Candyman ghost, his ambition lies in becoming eternal, in, in fame and success. Um, and that ends up being his his, his tragic flaw. But um, you know, he's also he's also a character that has a deep trauma in his past. That he's been trying to work out uh, through his art, and so that's you know part of part of his journey is getting to his his own truths, um, you know, at, at the while he thinks he's um, pursuing fame. I had worked with Yaya on us briefly, so you know I told I told uh, you know all I did was tell Nia how how much I wanted to work with him again. Um, she went and, and met with him and they hit it off uh, famously. Um, so, you know, I was, I was, I was happy to I endorse, but the, 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 the film was, you know, she, she really um, saw him as the guy um, and, uh, and it was music to my ears. He is, he, he, he has a bit of a chameleon ability and at the same time he's a, uh, He's a total, uh, he has a star quality and a singularness at the same time. But, um, you know, he, he's one of those guys that can hit notes that you're not expecting and nuanced notes that you didn't see coming. 
I think what Nia has really done is she's explored race on all these, all these, all the levels from the uncomfortable to the downright um, devastating. Um, and she's, you know, she's kept a, a love story uh, in there at the center, a tragic love story at the center, um, like the original as well.